Hi guys and welcome to the Marshall online demo for the Marshall YJM100 which is the Yngwie Malmsteen signature head. Uh, this amp may look familiar because it's based on uh, the classic Marshall 1959 but with so many extra features which makes it very cool and really brings it into a modern age as well. Uh, whether you're a fan of Yngwie or not you could think of this as a super 1959 and is well worth checking out. So what we're going to do is uh, take a look across the front panel. First off, we've got uh, the power and standby switches, and then we've got presence, which I've set on half, bass, middle, and treble, which I've set on seven, and then your two volumes. First off, I've set uh, the first volume on maximum, and I'm just plugged into input one so you can hear how that sounds. Um, because of the cool features that I mentioned in this amp, uh, it's not actually really, really loud, but you still get a great tone from it. <laughs> So that gives you a rough idea of the basic sound that we're starting with. What I'm gonna do now though is, as, uh, as you may know, with these old Marshall amps, you can, uh, you can hook up with a patch cable uh, the two different um, channels. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, is plug this patch cable in. And now what I'm doing, leaving that first volume where it is, I'm gonna bring the second volume up to about, uh, about number seven. And you'll hear it sort of fattens out the tone on the, on the bottom end a little bit more. All right, so that's the straight sound that we're going to be working uh, with from here on in. And what we're going to do now is uh, take a look at the rear panel of this amp. All right, so looking at the rear panel of the uh, Marshall YJM100, first off, you've got your standard, uh, standard things like speaker output, effects loop, and foot switch uh, input. But then you've got the real special things which make this amp so cool. First off, the amp has built-in power attenuation. If you guys have been familiar with the AFD100, which was the uh, recent Slash amp, then you'll know all about it. It works in exactly the same way, and you can take the amp from 100 watts all the way down to 0.1 of a watt. There's also a 50-watt switch on here, so at any point you can half the power of the, uh, of the YGM100, and it will just take out two of the power tubes, which is very cool. The next thing, uh, as you've heard, you may have heard so far, is it's got built-in reverb. I've had the reverb on all this time, just here. It's been set on about a quarter, but I'll show you in a minute just what that can do. You've also got a whole boost section, uh, which is great for, for high gain stuff. That consists of volume and gain. There's an indicator light for it just here, and also a great noise gate, which is activated automatically when you bring in that boost section. So what I'm gonna do is take you firstly with the, uh, the power attenuation. Uh, with the sound that I left on the front panel, um, I've actually had the attenuation set back on about number four. In the handbook, it shows you exactly whereabouts on the scale everything is in terms of wattage. Um, but if it was on full, obviously, it would be working at a full 100 watts. Um, and not forgetting this 50 watt switch. So first off, um, to half the power, I'm going to use the 50 watt switch. So this is where we've been so far. <laughs> Now this is with the addition of the 50 watt switch. So 
So you've got, you know, flexibility in that sense. If you're the kind of person who likes a 50 watt amp rather than a 100 watt amp, you've got that flexibility plus the attenuation itself. So I'm going to play with that now and bring that down. And what we'll do in a minute when I bring the boost in is we'll go back to that to show how it responds to a high gain stuff as well. So next up, the reverb that I've been using. Um, I'm gonna bring the reverb up to maximum so you can hear how much is in there. There's a lot of reverb in here. Perhaps you wouldn't need as much as that, but if ever you do, it's there kind of thing. And as I, uh, as I said earlier, I've set that on about a quarter for everything you've heard so far and from here. Uh, now we've got this boost section. You'll see when I engage the boost, the noise gate will come on as well. I've got the, uh, the gain on nearly full and I've got the volume on about three quarters. The threshold for the gate is on about half, depending on where you are. And, and if you use noise gates and how you want them to respond where you're playing, obviously you've got a full sweep of the threshold of the gate. But as it's set, it sounds like this. It's really very cool. And going back to the power attenuation, even with the full gain stuff. So that gives an idea of how the power attenuation works with the high gain stuff. All the uh, features that you've, uh, you've seen on here, the boost, the gate, the reverb, and the effects loop are all foot switchable as well. The foot switch comes with the YJM100 and you can switch on any of those features that we've just looked at, which uh, makes the amp really versatile as well. The other cool thing is this amp is self-biasing. So there's four uh, valve indicator lights on the panel there. And one of these will light up if you've got a problem with one of the power valves. Um, to start the self-biasing procedure, it's very straightforward. You just hold down the effects loop and the 50 watt button. You power it up, you leave it for a few minutes and it will do it itself. And there's a bias trim on there as well in case anything needs adjusting. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, really a very versatile amp. It takes the essence of, uh, of, a, of a classic Marshall and uh, brings more modern features onto it and it's uh, been done in conjunction with a great artist as well. So for more information on the Marshall YJM100, then uh, head to your local Marshall dealer.